I was always really interested in learning about other people's cultures. And uh, so I, I finished my undergrad in cultural anthropology and then I went straight into a graduate program. I ended up getting my master's in liberal arts and sciences with a focus on indigenous issues, not just Native Hawaiian or, or Native American issues. I actually work with a lot of Native Americans in San Diego as well. So yeah, I consider myself, again, like a, I fight for all indigenous people across the world. And statistically, Native women and girls face the highest rates of violence. So uh, I wanted to you know, give them a fighting chance to succeed. So I started working with a group called Intertribal Youth. It's a nonprofit organization, and I just really liked the work that they were doing with the youth, specifically the Native youth. My cousin, he hooked me up with the director, Mark Chavez, and uh, from there, uh, Mark and I just started working together. I started going on field trips with them and participating in their program. And so when he asked me to be a mentor for the kids, I was like, yeah, this is, this is great. I, this, is always, this is what I've always wanted to do. And then I started fighting, and uh, we realized that fighting, believe it or not, actually opened up so many more opportunities for us. And uh, what I mean by that is like, I actually was in Panama attending a program with, with intertribal youth and some of the kids. We, we were visiting a, a native tribe out in the jungles. They're called the Embarakera. And Mark said that the chief's daughter had always wanted to come attend a program in San Diego, but she couldn't afford it. So I was like, well, if I win the belt for Bellator, if I become the champion, I'm going to fly her out. The first ever Bellator Women's Flyweight Champion, the Eliminator, Alimale McFarland. So that's how it started. I used my win bonus money to create the scholarship, and we decided to call it the Eliminator Scholarship. We decided to open it up to the public for donations, and we had a campaign. We raised enough money to send five girls through uh, different programs, their cultural enrichment programs and educational programs. And uh, we have programs in San Diego, Panama, Jamaica, and Hawaii. We do exchanges. And it's going to commence around the time of my fight, which is at the end of April. And some of the recipients are going to be joining me in Jamaica in May. We're going to do a, an exchange in Jamaica. So I'm really excited. Hopefully we get applicants. And uh, it's open to Native girls ages 13 to 19. And so it's all online. And I'll, I'll be posting about it a lot on my social media and getting the word out.